Okay, in this video, we're going to be doing number four from the 2024 Calc A, B, and B, C exams. Let's take a look at the problem. So the graph of the differentiable function f is shown for negative six to seven, has a horizontal line, a uh, tangent line, I guess, at x equals negative two, um, and is linear for zero to seven. Let r be the region in the second quadrant bounded by the graph of f, the vertical line x equals negative six, and the x and y axes. Region r has area 12. All right, A. The function g is defined by g of x is the integral from 0 to x, f of t dt. We got to find g of negative 6, g of 4, and g of 6. All right, so these are just definite integrals. Um, so g of negative 6 is the integral from 0 to negative 6 of f of t dt. But what we're going to do is we're going to flip the bounds and change the sign. So that's the negative of the integral from negative 6 to 0 of f of t dt. And we are told that the area of region r, which is the region from negative 6 to 0, is 12, so this will be negative 12. And that's that. All right, g of 4. We're going to write it down. So g of 4 is the integral from 0 to 4, f of t dt. This is just pure geometry. Now, it's important to remember that we're linear between uh, 0 and 7. So f is linear between 0 and 7, which means that uh, we can just find the area of this triangle, which is 1 half the base is 4, the height is 2, so just 4. And then for g of 6, same kind of idea. Um, we're going 0 to 6, f of t dt. The issue here is that sometimes f is above the axis, sometimes below. So we're going to accumulate positive area, and then we're going to uh, lose some negative area. So this, we already saw, has an area of 4. And then this triangle here from 4 to 6 is base is 2, height is negative 1, 1 half base times height, negative 1. Um, so we're going to get 4, and then plus negative 1. So we get three. All right, so that's part A. Let's take a look at part B. The function g defined in part A, which was the integral from zero to x, f of t dt. Um, find all values of x in the interval zero to six at which the graph of g has a critical point. Give a reason for your answer. So we're gonna find the derivative. Um, g prime is f of x. And then we're going to look and say we need g prime to be either zero or undefined, but g prime is never undefined if g prime is f of x. So g prime equals zero. You can look, it's, and it's just at four. Um, so that's the answer, but I wasn't really sure if that's like all that they're looking for. So I wrote up a little, little sentence. g has critical point at x equals four because g prime of four equals f of four equals zero. I think that's our answer. Let's take a look at uh, the next part, which I think is the last part of this one. Um, so we have, uh, the function h is defined by h of x is the integral from negative six to x, f of t, f prime of t dt. That's a big difference. Find the values of h of six, h prime of six, h double prime of six. Show the work that leads to your answer. Okay. Um, so h of six is going to be the integral from negative six to six of f prime of t dt, which means, uh, that... We're just going to be doing f of t from negative 6 to 6, which is going to be f of 6 minus f of negative 6. And so you can see it's given that f of 6 is negative 1 and at negative 6, it's 0.5. So that's going to give us negative 1.5. Uh, for h prime, so let's write down what h prime is. h prime of x is um, f prime of x. So we need to find h prime of 6, which will just be f prime of 6. So remember, f is linear between 0 and 7, which means that f prime is just the slope of that line segment. So we have this line. You go down 2 over 4. That is negative 1 half. And then uh, finally, we need to find h double prime of 6. So h double prime of x is f double prime of x. If f of x is linear then f prime is constant and f double prime is zero. So I think that h double prime of six is going to be f double prime of six and is just going to equal zero because of the fact that it's linear. Um, and I think that's the entire problem. It's a little bit weird here because I think that I did not use the horizontal tangent at x equals negative two for any of this, but I don't know. I don't know where it would fit in. So if you think that I screwed this up, let me know. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful and good luck.